welcome back to another Godot tutorial. This one is going to be about draw order. This one's going to be really quick, super easy, but I think it's something that everybody should know. And before we get started, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you know when my next video comes out. All right, let's get started. So I'm in this blank project. I just named mine draw order, name it whatever you want, and start with the 2D scene. We're going to add just a 2D scene node, and we're going to call it level. And we're going to add a couple of icons. Let's do three. And we'll just leave them icon one, two, and three. And that way we can visually see this a little bit better. I think I'll make them all a different size. That one's medium and we'll make this one big. So basically here in the scene tree, the order of the nodes is the order that they will be displayed on the screen. So this one will be the bottom one. Icon 2 should go on top of it and icon 3 will be higher up and on top of the other two and so on. As you come down this tree they are stacking on top of each other. Now, if we were to take this icon three, which is on top and put it there, now it is on the bottom. In the beginning, you know, if you've only got three or four icons and you want to rearrange them this way, that's fine. Dragging and dropping is perfectly fine. But think about this. You've got a game, you've got 100 nodes, right? You've got a lot of assets in the game. Dragging and dropping, not going to work anymore. So I'm going to show you a second way, an easier way, and this is called Z indexing. So if we come over here to the, uh, the first icon, we're going to come over to ordering and we're going to make that three. We're going to make these all backwards. So three, we'll make this one two and we'll make this one one. Now what that does is ignore the tree order and gives it the Z index order, right? So this was on the bottom, but as you can see, you can see now it's on top and so on. This one's in the middle and number two is on the bottom underneath everything. One last thing to keep in mind, and this video is basically done. If you have two icons, um, competing for the Z index. So this one's two, and let's make this one two. Since these are both the same index, it will then default to the, the tree, the scene tree. So if we put this one on top uh, of this one, you'll see since it's where it's at on the scene tree, it's, it's on the bottom again. They're both two, but it's defaulting to what the scene tree is here and, in order, okay? So order matters, Z indexing is easier to use, and if you've got multiple Z indexes at the same index, uh, the, the tree will then take precedence in that order. And that's it. Super easy. I know these are short concepts to grasp. I think it's the best way to learn. Short videos, key concepts, it lets you practice over and over and over. Just get familiar with these things, and very soon I'll pick a project and once we get all these key concepts down, we'll start building something fun. Thanks again. I appreciate everyone. Leave your comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.